This is a demo of the grid uh, with um, selection behavior. Uh, it is also um, showcasing uh, automatically rolling window over infinite data set. So basically this window here is uh, you know limited in size because of the browser um, um, limit on scrollable height so basically you know we have a uh, hundred thousand we could have maybe up to a million rows and a million columns but uh, if we have hundreds of trillions of rows and hundreds of trillions of columns in some giant log or giant database and we need to go over the data um, then the browser limit uh, is, is not sufficient and so what we have here is a rolling window that just rolls over the data um, so, um, for example, um, let's, let's see how it scrolls to start with. So this is the scrolling speed at 60 frames per second. You can see this is, uh, taken uh, a lot of time to get to this speed and this agility, but it's, uh, uh, far, uh, exceeds the performance of any grid out there. Um, but you know, haven't seen anything out there that can scroll this fluidly, if, especially with QuickTime running in the background. So now, what does it mean to have an infinite um, scroll window? So let's start from zero zero here, and go all the way to zero zero. Of course, we could do that with the scroll. So we're at zero zero, and now let's say. And by the way, this is a selection mechanism, so you can select cells anywhere, anywhere you want. Uh, and let's say we go all the way to the bottom. So the bottom of the range is 100,000, zero based, indexed, and uh, now we're going to go down one more. And you can see we went from 999 to 100,000 here. And we can keep going. We can go back to the top, and now we're at the, you know, uh, new position of the rolling window around 50,000, right? Because it's 100,000 by 100,000 moving over the data. And so when you move, it shifts uh, with it. And uh, whatever room it has, it will take, you know, up to 50,000 on each side. And so now we go want to go back up. And we just went back to the original rolling window position and go back to zero, zero. So this, um, yeah, uh, you know, this thing rolls to accommodate and when it gets to the end of the view range it keeps uh, moving and so on. It's the behavior you need when you have a huge amount of data and you need to navigate it efficiently. And uh, the other mode, the other experiment is, or the demo, uh, is uh, when it opens up already in the billion, billion and 10,000 range, uh, you know, this is a billion 10,000 selected at the top, but you could scroll 50,000 up or 50,000 down from it. And um, so let's say we select anything right here and you know, we start scrolling. And whenever we hit the top of the list, it uh, moves the selection back to the center so we can explore more data and we can go back to our selection and likewise if we get to the end of the list and we go down then it keeps going and you get a range around it to scroll up and down with you know so um, going down and going up so that's it for the demo